Hello, my name is Julian Lai and I'm from Vienna, Austria. I've been fascinated by space from a very young age. Family friends who are part of the space business introduced me to NASA and ESA and infected me with the obsession of spaceflight. As far as I can remember, I've always wanted to be an astronaut and over time I've just become more and more interested in astronomy and spaceflight. My main hobbies are astronomy, particle and astrophysics, astrophotography and magic and I plan on getting my glider flying license this summer. I'm a member of the Viennese Circle for Astronomy, participated in a masterclass for high energy physics and even went to CERN. My whole life basically revolves around space and science. When the sun has set and you can see the stars in all their glory, I usually just stare up into the sky and try to orientate myself. Friends usually say that I totally block out my environment at those times and I've gotten quite some headbands while staring at the stars and walking into a street lamp at the same time. I also get alerts from NASA about sighting the International Space Station, which I absolutely love to see, wandering across the night sky 400 kilometers above our heads. NASA is really such a big part of my life. There are many ways I keep myself updated on the space news, like weekly YouTube videos, the NASA website, in which I spend probably most of my time. I also try to watch every major event on NASA TV. I even persuaded my colleagues to see EFT1 on the school computer because I didn't want to miss such an important event. One of the most exciting moments was when the Curiosity rover landed on Mars. I remember sitting in front of my computer on one screen, the NASA TV stream and on the other monitor a live simulation. I've never been this excited before in my whole life. So when the message came out that the rover touched down successfully, I remember shedding tears, <laughs> seeing the reactions of the controllers at JPL was truly priceless. And uh, while realizing the incredible achievement, I sort of started to think, wow, I really feel this is the place I belong. This is the place I'm meant to be. For my leaving exam, I've written a scientific paper about gravitational lensing for school, a phenomenon which caught my interest years ago and since fascinated me because of its beauty and applications for modern astronomy. My ultimate goal is to work for NASA and travel to space one day. I plan on studying astrophysics and spaceflight technologies. Life has not always been easy for me. Because of my special interests and hobbies, it has been hard at times to really fit in with the boys my age. Not many friends share the same interests, so it's been quite a lonely hobby at times. But it didn't take long until I noticed that there was a whole community out there that shares the same passion. I remember and I realized that I am not alone and that there are many thousand people out there who feel the same as I do. Over the internet, I could suddenly discuss space-related topics, which I wasn't able to do before. Being able to go to space camp would allow me to deepen my interest and get involved in the space community. This would mean I could meet others with the same interests and see the NASA facilities for real, not only on NASA TV. <laughs> I can't imagine anything more amazing than going to space camp this summer. Lots of people think it's strange for an 18 year old to still dream about becoming an astronaut but one thing I learned was that with enough strength and motivation you can achieve anything and in my case touch the stars. Thank you.